bonus with face, pat, and tiz. All right, so next on the list of fuckery. Um, I don't know if y'all know about it, but this all popped off last, like, yesterday, but... Now, I want to make baby sure and I see Dan- you for a Danny Lee. Yeah, 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 the baby and Danny Lee, yes. I- I've seen this video. Now, did something happen physical between them? Because all I saw was them no, arguing about so. her, you know, like, she was sitting there with, the, like, the wife beater and the sweatpants on. And he was sitting at the table with his assistant. Am I, is that the video that everybody's talking about? Mm-hmm. That's the one. That's one. And then okay, he, he was <laughs> on um, Instagram Live the whole time. Oh, okay. How long is that? Yeah. How long? It was, was he like on uh, that? Oh, from, to, from what I'm hearing, he was like pretty much up, up there, like almost damn whole day responding. Oh. Um, because I'm trying to say, like. He has a record of being on Instagram Live. Just okay. A lot. Right. Just in general or whatever. But really, I feel like he did that. So when he called the police, he have everything on record or whatever. And then if you got a camera on you, you're not going to do crazy stuff in my home. Right. Pretty much. But at the same time, you could, I kind of, to me, I feel like both are at fault in the situation. Whatever. I'm trying to figure out what happened that made the police arrest her for assault or something. I saw that she got like assault charges. Like what, what Minor. did she do? Well, did she tear some shit up? That's what that's what I'm trying to look. Cause the, all I saw was that there's assault charges on her. They yeah, didn't really but put on that video, yet. I saw him explaining his side. I saw her like upset and they were talking back and forth, but I didn't see them like screaming at each other or like hitting each other or like I didn't see her punch him or smack him I didn't see him push her or do nothing to her like they were just basically just having a verbal disagreement in the in Uh, while he was talking it sounded like he was insinuating that she she gets handsy or whatever and okay got it and according to her she's been there for the past couple of months taking care of the kid and just living there Mm-hmm. Pretty much, mm-hmm. but he comes on. He's. My thing is, if she been there for the past couple started. months, you can't act like she just out the blue or she just some sad chick. Because don't nobody live in my house mm-hmm. unless I let them. I think, I think what happened because what I saw was uh, in another video, she said that she sent like a message or sent like Plan B to where he was at. And he was probably messing with some chick at that time. Cause they're not really together. Mm. She's just living there. So he he was, you know, he's the baby. He's a rapper. He's a famous rapper. Everybody's on his. And he has a baby blah, mama blah, that's blah. before her too that he be dealing with. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. He was probably out messing with whatever chick he was messing with, and he probably messaged. I think she either sent him a message or sent Plan B to the crib. Because she say he be going in the girls' room and stuff like that, and that would cause. Well, that would explain the baby. He probably saw that. He got mad, and then when he got home, and she was there, sleep. He was like, "Look, you got to go." Yeah, when you when that's you're going what, in them raw, but, you're gonna get the crazy out of them. Like that's a very yeah, and that's why I say it's a different bond. Just, you got to be ready for that. You're gonna get some nutty ones. No pun intended. That's what yeah. I say. From that, like it's gonna be a little, oh, it's gonna be crazy. And that's why I say that's his fault. He even admit that that's his fault. <laughs> Up yeah. there, I feel like he was being sarcastic. And you got it. the you got the next eighteen years to life to deal with it. So enjoy mm-hmm. that. But this is the crazy thing that I I find weird. So a lot of women taking Danny's side naturally or whatever. I mean, she has a matter point. of fact. Like you keep trying yeah, to kick me has, out, but I mean, I'm, I'm going somewhere with your baby, and I like, come on, like, yeah. If I'd have so, been here all this well, time, like, yeah, you just go somewhere else, or like, we figure something out, but like, that can't be the first thing to go to. I'm just gonna kick you out, yeah. But you like, 
the internet, man, they got this, I don't want to say it's a cancel culture, but they got like this rage about them. That's like, what it is. Remember, they, there was um, it was a part where I think Danny actually dissed uh, the baby's previous baby mama. And mm-hmm. he had to step in front of it. It was like, nah. And you know, everybody was like, all against Danny's side mm. of the situation. Well, a lot of so people now, have not liked Danny late from the beginning when they first started messing with each other. Exactly. Like last yeah. year. So like this is an ongoing anti-Danny Lay thing from a lot of his fans and a lot of the general public. Mm-hmm. I've seen that. So mm-hmm. and a lot of people didn't like her song that she came out with, Lemonade or something. They was she was talking about like mm-hmm. light skinned people. So it's like mm-hmm. it's a lot of yeah, it's a lot of overlapping things with her perspective so yeah 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 but uh like one uh, i just uh, boy I get like it out god brain. damn it don't do this to me tonight my my I'm brain not, can't take uh, it man you gotta have it with some words come on bro up, up, <laughs> just say it just say it but, let it be jumbled up say it anyway uh, I'm saying that the baby's in the wrong, mostly. I just feel like the baby is just totally in the wrong in the situation because he put himself in that situation or whatever. And Personal accountability like is a thing. Yeah, uh, I, I I do feel like Danny, you your accountability is you knew w- what it was before you got here. Just me. But Big anyway, facts. you knew what it was. You knew what it was when you got here. Like, nothing about the baby says, hey, this is a wholesome family person to me, you know, at all. Like, Dave hey, Chappelle man, said it The baby for the kids. Man, every time I've seen the baby, it's always an altercation. <laughs> he done shot somebody. Oh, whatever. Like, it's some baby mama drama or something yeah, baby like got that. Some bodies. He <laughs> he got he tells you he tells you everything in his music, like every yeah. every piece of fuckery in his music. You got full warning. You got a couple of albums of 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 warnings before you get into the situation or whatever. But I don't know. I think sometimes people they get they get in their ego. They think they might be able to change somebody, and then that person continuously keep shutting. That's a real phenomenon, man. I'm going to tell you this. There is some changing. You can change yourself. You can change how you perceive somebody. You can't change Mm -hmm. nobody else. You can suggest changes Mm -hmm. all you want to. But a person will change if and when they want to change. And they got to, first of all, agree with you that what you're asking them to change is a problem. The baby seems very content in who he is. Win, lose, or draw. Like he is pretty, Mm -hmm. he seems pretty entrenched Mm -hmm. in this is who I am. This is who I'm going to be. I haven't seen him switch up yet. So Mm -mm. in this situation, I'm going to say he's definitely wrong and he got his accountability for. The fact that, like, you chose this young lady, you chose to put yourself in a situation where she's living with you, you chose to allow these things to occur to get to this point, so you have to take responsibility now and deal with this shit because you made the best you got laid. With her, you are also accountable because you also chose this man. Like, you you decided to lay... Y'all decided to lay down together. He didn't lay down by himself. You allowed this to be a a possibility when y'all made this decision to both have unprotected sex. So now that the baby's here, both of y'all got to grow the fuck up and do what's best for the kid. And that's really all it is to it. It ain't really no, it ain't, this ain't no yeah. deep situation. We've seen this before. Like, be, be mature. Uh-huh. Y'all both adults. Give a fuck how young or old the adult is. Y'all are adults. Y'all have a child. Figure the co-parenting uh-huh. thing out. Neither one of y'all, I believe, are like hurting for money. So to me, this seems like a dumbass problem to have. Like, set it up, figure out the finances, figure out what it's gonna take to raise a kid. Y'all figure out how y'all gonna do like visitation so y'all get equal 
rights and the ability to see the child and, and all that plan out the how, plan out the year and do this shit, man. Stop all this dumb shit on Instagram. You got the world in your business. Over what? Like, really, what is this over? What the problem is, is y'all still trying to finagle behind the scenes and then the shit mm-hmm. get, then when y'all get heated at each other or get annoyed with each other, then y'all want to start, well, you ain't my, mm. but no, you're probably canoodling them. That, that's the problem. Yeah. Because if you if you have Temple. stopped having, if you have cut everything off and you have got it strictly in one way, these this heat ain't going to be there at this point. What it is, is you getting the back the back action from baby mama one, you got it from baby mama two, but you really don't want to be with baby mama two. You just still sliding in there. You wondering why she heated and why she feeling like that. Man, grow up. Me at home. Co-parent this child, because that's who's sitting there that's going to grow up in this environment, y'all said. And y'all should both know that's, better. That's who's getting the worst part of it. Do what y'all need to do for the kid, man. Yep. I, I, I'm, I'm not about to sit here and, and yeah. Deal with this fucker. And, and and people and some of y'all people need to just stop commenting on it because yeah, some of y'all are commenting and y'all either going through the same thing, been through the same thing. I ain't mad at people <laughs> commenting on it because these days you put it on Instagram Live, so you wanted to comment. You 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 put it there. You could have recorded it on your phone as just a file. You chose to record it as an Instagram Live and talk to people while it's going on and keep showing like that's what you wanted. So what I will say to the commenters is the same thing I would say to people who comment on. I was like, any comment on anything. Don't just say some shit. Have a real uh, opinion on it that makes sense. Like have some mm-hmm. logic with it. Don't just be on there. Eh, da, da, da. Like all that rah-rah, highly emotional shit ain't helping them. It ain't really doing nothing. So it's like a, it's a wasted comment. Like if you gonna say something, especially on the platform, like his Instagram laugh, just say some shit that makes some sense. Give him some good advice. If you've been through that situation, male or female, maybe say something there that's gonna help them to like stop looking crazy on Instagram. Like that's my thing. Or oh, don't man, say that at all shit. and just be a spectator and, cause you don't, the beautiful, the beautiful thing about social media, the beautiful thing about YouTube, the beautiful thing about all of these platforms that we have where we watch people's lives and we're voyeurs is you can just be that a voyeur. You can just watch. You don't have to comment. There's nothing that says that you can't watch content and not do this. You can put your thumb, you can put that shit up on a, on a podium or on your phone stand or whatever you use and then just sit back and watch. Treat it like a movie. Keep scrolling. Or reality show. And just keep, keep on going. But keep scrolling. No, that's my opinion on it, but whatever. Man. People like that shit. Toxic people, shit ain't people, cute, man. people like drama. It's drama is in style. People <clears throat> like fuckery. That young Pharaoh shit crazy. People like it. Like all of the craziest shit, people hype it up. The real shit that people should be, the, the shit that actually be having some substance, even the comedy, like fuckery does better than comedy. Comedy just made people happy and laugh. But mm-hmm. people that turn comedy into fuck with me. Like, it's just people just like stupid shit, man. I'm done. That's true. That is true. That's true. Talk maybe shit, Danny Lay, I'm going to pray for y'all. <clears throat> Go ahead, get y'all shit together and do what's right for the baby so the baby can grow up happy and healthy like y'all want it to because I know y'all both just want to be good parents. And I'm going to slide on off of it, man. That's y'all business. Do y'all thing. But if, don't be hitting wow. on each other. I don't know about this assault shit. Don't be hitting on each other though. I ain't, I ain't gonna never be down with that. Don't be beating on each other, woman or man, whichever one. No, of y'all I don't do. think that's going. Any late, don't be hitting. I'm glad that ain't going on. That shit. <clears throat> Very glad that it's not going on, or whatever. And I think at this point the baby has to be a lot more smarter than that. And I think that's the whole reason why he called the police in the first place, pretty much. This so, is true. This yeah. True. But hey, man, you can't, you can't be surprised for a guy acting childish if his name is the baby. That's a good point. Name is the baby, man. That's a good point. I'm coming back on camera for this. I tell you like this. Like I've always said in our past episodes, I used to be in a very toxic relationship too. I've called the police in the the situation when it was in a domestic situation. But the reason I called the police was different. I called the police because I was told, don't make me call the police on you. And I was, and I told the other person. You must forget who I am. I call him my goddamn self. Watch this. I think y'all need to get here. So 
So it could have been one of them situations where he called him on this goddamn show just to prevent himself from doing something stupid. Either way, I'm glad he called mm-hmm. him instead of doing the stupid thing. But whatever yeah, she yeah. got arrested for with this assault shit, yeah. when I hear assault and I see a person get arrested, I'm thinking, ma'am, don't be beating on that man. If he ain't put his hands on you, mm-hmm. don't put your hands on him. Talk that shit out like grown folk. If you can't talk it I out, just like... separate until y'all can, but don't be putting hands on each other. Yeah, like exactly. That shit right there, that's when it just all bets off and that's I ain't that. with that. Yeah. Piece of dumb stuff. Yeah. More dumb stuff. Dumb dumb. Uh, 